For over two decades, Xterra has brought together some of the world's fittest, toughest, and craftiest endurance athletes for a series of off-road triathlons, races that combine open water swimming, mountain biking, and trail running, and demand skill and tenacity, guile and grit. More than a sport, Xterra is a lifestyle requiring total commitment from the bold and ambitious warriors who want to test themselves against the elements, the terrain, the conditions, and each other in some of the most spectacular natural settings in all of athletics. In this, its 24th season, Xterra continues to expand, reaching new countries where talented athletes with various gifts and challenges embrace the spirit of a sport that brings them closer to nature and to their fellow adventure racers. For episode 11, we head to the inaugural Xterra event in mainland China, held in September in Kunming, a city in the southwestern part of the country near Vietnam and Laos. It's close to Kunming that 28-year-old Paralympian Jia Chao Wang grew up and embarked on an impressive athletic career that began soon after a life-changing electrical accident at age five. walk around the whole village so when I when we walk over to pass to pass the electricity transformer and then I heard a sound mm, like this I, I I thought there was a bee there so I tried to climb but I asked my cousin he is my uh, old cousin I asked him in to uh, to to climb but he cannot climb I said ah, let me try and then I climb and then I try to touch the electricity transformer and then uh, the later the following I cannot remember the horrific accident cost Jia Chao his left arm but not his sense of adventure. As a youngster, he would sneak out of his house to teach himself to swim in a nearby river. And by age 10, he was strong enough to be invited to train with a swim team for disabled athletes. In 2004, Jia Chao qualified for his first of three Paralympic Games, and the experience in Greece was eye-opening. I feel I'm lucky, and then went to Athens that was my first time to go abroad to open my horizon and to see the western and then to, 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 to taste, to eat the foods and then to know the uh, foreigners, to say hello to them. I, I still remember that was very exciting. Even more excitement followed eight years later, when at his third Paralympic Games in London, Jia Chao won a gold medal as part of China's 4x100 meter medley relay team. At that time, I think, oh, I achieved my gold and then I achieved my dream. But there were more dreams to fulfill. Jia Chao who went to university after the 2012 London Games discovered triathlon and thought he might be able to return to the Paralympics in a new sport, one for which he is well suited. I think my 
background of swimming and then I like cycling and uh, running it's okay and then for the endurance I I think I can do endurance sport more than swimming so uh, all of these reasons uh, together I think I'm very very fit this event While Jia Chow tries to qualify for the 2020 Tokyo Paralympics in his new sport, he also trains in races in Xterra, a new challenge to which he was first introduced in Maui in 2017. That was so cool and that was very exciting because it's more close in the nature, close to, uh, for example, swim in the wild, like very high wave like five meters high or six meters high in the wild uh, sea and then to cycling in the very difficult trail during the competition many people just uh, tell me to uh, go 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 uh, you are you are working hard you are so great and then when I fall down and then other people, they stopped and then helped me to uh, stand up and then ask me, are you okay? And then I said, uh, I'm good, thank you. And then he, they are gone. So this is the friendship and then this is the very close to the nature and then, uh, and then you can see the very beautiful scenery, very beautiful uh, mount and then sea and then everything so uh, I think this is uh, the key key reason that many people like this As Jia Chao trains for both traditional road triathlons and Xterras, he inspires other athletes, both able-bodied and challenged, with his positivity and his resilience. My character is very challenged. I like challenge, I like uh, do the things that I want to do. I think I am a little bit talented of swimming, but uh, actually my talent is, is is uh, endeavor, working hard, and then never give up. Xterra Adventures is presented by Tea Tree, eco-minded hair care infused with natural botanicals. Discover the natural magic of Tea Tree. The Maui Visitors and Convention Bureau Visit gohawaii.com slash Maui. We are of this place. Every action we take needs to have purpose. And that purpose is not to catch every single fish we come across. That's so good. The ocean has been here a million years before we ever got here, and it's going to be here a million years after. When we founded Paul Mitchell nearly 40 years ago, people would ask John Paul, why do you want to make hair care products? I tell them, I don't. I want to make super hair care products, but it's more than that. It's hair color that makes you feel like a million bucks and passionate people doing what they love. It's giving back, treating the planet kindly and supporting the professional hairdresser. To me, it's not just about hair care. It's creating something beautiful for all of us. This segment, is brought to you by Tea Tree by Paul Mitchell. Today, multi sport adventure racing is taking off among the country's youth. 
and 25-year-old Letty Tang is at the forefront of that new wave. Hello everyone, my name is Letty. I am from China. After attending the 2016 Xterra World Championships in the USA, I fell in love with this race. I'm happy that Xterra Race came to the city where I'm living now, this year. Letty grew up cycling, canoeing, and her favorite, mountain biking. But it wasn't until three years ago when she was invited to participate in an Xterra event that she learned to swim. Now, as her country's first female professional Xterra athlete, she trains 20 hours a week, running and cycling in the morning, swimming and strength training in the afternoons. I prefer the endurance sport to the high intensity sport. And I quite enjoy doing the endurance races with my friends, sharing the experience. And in September, as some of the top off-road triathletes in the world converged on Yunnan for the inaugural Xterra Kunming event, Letty was excited not only to race, but also to showcase her hometown. For the athletes around the world coming here, Yunnan really is a beautiful place to check out. Daily living to special gifts, plenty to pick up. Yunnan是一个非常漂亮的地方，非常漂亮的地方，非常漂亮的地方，非常漂亮的地方，非常漂亮的地方，非常漂亮的地方，非常漂亮的地方，非常漂亮的地方，非常漂亮的地方，非常
Pues yo creo que lo que me enamoró de I think that what made me fall in love with Xterra was uh, running in places where I'd never been before, uh, traveling to incredible places like Maui and uh, and enjoying people, the environment and the experience itself, which is traveling, running and returning home, bringing an adventure along with us. In September, Ruzafa's latest adventure took him nearly 6,000 miles away from his home in Spain to Kunming, China. Since it takes place in September and so close to the World Championship, it's a good opportunity for me to put myself to the test before Maui. People view eruptions as being very destructive. But what people don't understand is Pele is a creator of life. The native plant life can start to regrow. The native birds return. The cycle of regrowth, it starts anew. This segment is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. Sunday, September 22nd, was a gorgeous day at the Yangzong Lake Resort in Kunming. Cheered on by an engaged and curious local crowd, the elites dove in for the 1.5 kilometer swim. Ben Allen of Australia was first out of the water in 1942, followed closely by a pair of Frenchmen, Maxime Chenet and Brice de Bourg with Ruben Ruzafa of Spain right in the mix. In the swim, I swim with Ben Allen, Bryce Dubor and Maxi Chanel, very good swimmers. They don't swim uh, to the limits, but yeah, yeah, stay with them is, is, uh, is good for me. Kunming sits at 6,200 feet, but Ruzafa, a former mountain biking pro, was not bothered by the thin air. The Spaniard laid down the fastest bike split of the day, one hour, 21 minutes, and four seconds. And even as he was rolling, he was able to appreciate the uniqueness of his surroundings. You are in China, and uh, when you are riding the bike, you see the, the monuments and something like that. So I think it's a very good experience. The, the people I, I feel that enjoy the Xterra and uh, the pros, uh, we enjoy to the, this place. Ruzafa had a two minute lead heading out of transition two, but was running scared, knowing the Frenchmen are fleet of foot. Ultimately, Ruzafa was able to extend his lead running 37 minutes and 21 seconds to claim the inaugural Xterra Kunming title and the 35th World Tour victory of his storied career. Debord finished second, four and a half minutes back, and Chenet faded on the run, but held on for third. I am really surprised with my race. I, I, I feel very well, uh, good performance. I can't wait to, to start and to keep my preparation for Maui, five weeks. And uh, yes, yeah, we will see. At Paul Mitchell, we believe in the beauty of giving back, protecting our forests and waterways, feeding families in need through sustainable community gardens, and ensuring that our products are always cruelty free, big or small. There's beauty in making a difference every single day. That's what connects all of us together in a deep, meaningful way. Join us, live beautifully. People view eruptions as being very destructive. But what people don't understand is Pele is a creator of life. The native plant life can start to regrow. The native birds return. The cycle of regrowth, it starts anew. Xterra Adventures is presented by the Hawaiian Islands. Visit GoHawaii.com, Hawaii's official tourism site. Xterra, racing and apparel for your active lifestyle. Visit XterraPlanet.com.
While Ruzafa ran away with the men's title, the women's elite race was extremely competitive. Englishwoman Jackie Allen had the lead out of the water, followed about one minute back by a big group that included Karina Vassel of Austria, Lizzie Orchard of New Zealand, and 39-year-old Fabiola Corona of Mexico. In Mexico, we used to do many mountain bike races, and it's kind of this like single track. So I enjoy all the time, all the all the bike uh, part. So in the second in the second lap, I get on first place, and I push. I was pushing with Jackie all the time until the top of the mountain, and then uh, I give it all. I, I said I have to be on the front. I have to go down like a crazy woman. Riding with abandon, Corona took control of the race on the second half of the bike and posted the fastest bike split of the day, one hour, 38 minutes and 42 seconds. But coming out of transition two, she knew she still had work to do. So I get uh, uh, running and I was praying all the two laps, like, no, nobody passed me. And if someone is behind me, it, it, I hope it's gonna be a man, no a woman. No one did pass her, although Vassal of Austria got close, and Corona broke the tape in two hours, 50 minutes, and 14 seconds for the emotional victory. So at the end, I was in the last kilometer, I was looking back to see if there, there was somebody, and I, can, I couldn't believe it because, for be honest, I, I, I was like thinking that maybe I get third or fourth place. So at the end, I was like, um, I, unbelievable. The win gave Corona a measure of redemption, following a bitter disappointment in the 2008 Olympic triathlon. I came here 11 years ago in 2008 to, in Beijing to the Olympics, but the result wasn't very good for me. So finally, after 11 years, I come back and, and I get the gold medal. So, so for me, it's amazing. I think it's my best result in Exterra in all my life, and I will remember all my life. Exterra Kunming was a success for the local athletes as well. Letty Tang, her country's first female pro Exterra racer, placed 10th, and Jia Chao Wang, Paralympic gold medalist in swimming impressed and inspired the onlookers with his seventh place finish in the 25 to 29 division. Coming up in the next episode, the best off-road triathletes in the world descend on Maui for the most important competition on the annual calendar, as the 2019 Xterra season culminates with the World Championships. That's next time on Xterra Adventures. At Maui Gym, we're inspired by color, driven by clarity, and dedicated to improving your view no matter your vision. Our prescription sunglasses are the most technologically advanced available and are 10 times more accurate than those produced by conventional labs. Our polarized plus two technology enhances color and blocks harmful rays, while our digital processing allows for the widest possible field of vision. Speak to your eye care professional and discover greater clarity with Maui Gym. The view's better from here.